Moving on to the agent interface, we'll take a look at the CX Engage Skylight interface. This is an all-inclusive agent desktop. In this case, this is where an agent would log in using their username and password, and then also uh, go ahead to the unavailable state. The CX Engage platform is truly multi-tenanted, so an agent can be a member of multiple uh, subtenants. So if it's different departments, different regions, or maybe it's testing environments such as sandbox environments, uh, as many of those can be created as needed. In this case, I'll go to my dropdown. I'll select which tenant I want to do some work for. In this case, we'll select Nova X Texas, and we'll go to a non-available state. Once an agent's to a not ready state, they can select different states by selecting either nested responses. In this case, we could select not only a break, but what type of break and define specific time frames. We could also define training and uh, nest them and define more granularly what those actual training sessions are. So we can also select multiple talk paths. So in this case, I could select my cell phone, maybe a desk phone, or maybe I wanted to leverage technology with WebRTC, which we'll do in the... At that point, I'm ready to go ready and start to receive interactions. On the left-hand side of the messaging pane, you'll see multiple interactions coming through. We'll hear audible rings for my inbound call, and we'll go ahead and grab my call. We'll also grab multiple items at the same time. In this case, we've already accepted our voice call. I'm also going to accept another interaction, which is our uh, SMS message. And also, we can select uh, web chat as well. Along the top, I can see which flow it came through. So we'll actually see that this is the web chat flow, and it actually exited at the web chat uh, queue itself. Same thing with SMS. So in here we can see that it went through the SMS flow and it exited the Mars queue. So as a multitasking agent, I can truly multitask between the different interactions. On the textual channels, we can use pre-configured templates. So very quickly, I can send information off to the uh, customer. Also, we can freeform responses. How can I help you today? We can define dispositions on any type of interaction. So in this case, we can uh, have nested just like we saw with our presence reasons. So maybe it was a Mars mission or reservation, I can define that. We can also add in individual interaction notes. So John is booked on the next flight. And his confirmation number So once an agent actually saves that interaction, it'll be tracked in the history with this customer. If I toggle between the multiple interactions, uh, multiple responses will actually be indicated uh, by flashing blue uh, screens here. We can also go to our voice interaction. A couple things that have happened, we've actually populated an agent script. This is where the agent knows the right questions to ask. Uh, we may have scales, and we'll scale of one to 10, one to five. We can also have drop down boxes uh, with multiple selection. So in this case, we can also embed app pictures as well. So in this case, uh, we could actually relay some information as to what spacecraft this customer would be traveling on. We can also have multiple scripting pages in the series. So once one page is complete, we may ask a completely separate set of questions uh, to the agent. So in this case, we have an upgrade that's available to this air spacecraft. Some mid-call features. So while I'm on the call, I could simply hang up. We also indicate the recording's turned on by this slider bar. I can also turn recording off uh, just by moving it to the left or the right. We can mute the call. We can also put the call on hold. And we can also uh, transfer the uh, call itself. So in this case, we can actually get the queue presence. So I can see the current queue status. So as an example, the web chat queue is currently at 1 minute and 5 seconds. We can also scroll down and see if any available agents are currently logged in which in this case we do not see anyone, but if they were available, we, they could actually be included in uh, not only a conference or a participant, but we can also do a cold transfer as well. So very quickly, I can transfer off to queue. I can transfer off to individual agents uh, with agent presence. And then down below, we actually have individual transfer lists. So this is where an agent maybe needs to transfer to an external resource. Maybe it's the their contact center manager's cell phone, so we can define these customized lists that allow for single click transfer. Once again, like we saw with uh, the textual channels, we can disposition any of the interactions. And in here, once again, we can select nested disposition and then add any interaction note to that interaction as well. On the right-hand side, we have the contact information panel. So in here, we have all the uh, custom uh, CRM fields that we've created. So that in this case, I could come in and add additional information about this customer, uh, simply maybe adding in uh, numbers or uh, dates or whatever we'd select in there. We can also have mandatory fields. So in this case, the name is a mandatory field. And we can also view and notice all the past history uh, with this customer.